Oh, hello. Welcome to the Biotopes. Thanks for coming back. Today we're gonna add our first animals to the biotope. Now in this first biotope, we are doing the upper Amazon River, specifically in Peru. And we've already planted the tank. It's all set up, it's been running. There's leaf litter, wood. Uh, it's really come on nicely. But today we're gonna add our first animals. Can't wait to show what they are. Thanks for stopping by. So our first inhabitants are going to be these ghost shrimp or grass shrimp. And these are our freshwater shrimp found in many waterways around the world in different forms, but this is a good representation. And we've got 24 in the bag and I've got one from my um, Suda Miguel Signifer tank, my, my adult tank that I'm gonna move over and uh, he's pretty good size. So I'm just acclimating them. As you can see, the update in the tank, the leaf litter is starting to get waterlogged and um, really starting to settle in nice, evolving. There's no more biofilm on the wood. Um, so that's all becoming lived in and doing a good job. Obviously all the coke pods are doing their work. Here is the Amazon sword area, the kind of bank of the, the biotope. And just really excited about the way this is evolving. These types of tanks where you've got botanicals and um, leaf litter sticks, um, it takes a while for it to get lived in. This is about as clean as it's ever going to look. You see the frog bit from the top and some of the leaves are still floating a little bit. but doing really well. We're at least a good week in since this tank was set up. So let's release the shrimp. Okay, here we go. This orange one right here, the big guy, that's the one that I had from my other tank. So he is not new, which I assume that's why he's a little bit orange or brownish. He's been eating detritus and um, the other ones are more clear. I'm assuming just from what they've been eating or the environment they've been in. But again, we got 25 of these total. And um, it's pretty cool to see them kind of swimming around, picking off any biofilms, little crustaceans they find in the sand and leaf litter. Remember the substrate here on top is clay sand and then capped with pool filter sand. The pool filter sand has just different granule colors, uh, sizes, a little more coarse than the play sand. So it gives a really nice mix and obviously we've got some pebbles for some detail, some pea pebbles, but sorry for the camera here, I'm trying to get this focused in as close as I can for you guys. Let's back up a little bit. But there's some big shrimp, there's some small ones in here. I'm really excited to let these uh, kind of start breaking down the leaf, leaf litter and get this tank more of a lived in type of look. So really fun to kind of start this process and build this ecosystem, which is really what we're doing here. Build the ecosystem of this biotope and you know, we're gonna start with some some uh, ghost shrimp or grass shrimp and let them kind of get established. But they're, they're pretty happy in here. You can see the copepods, the little crustaceans floating around. Again, a good part of the ecosystem. And these shrimp are making it their home so far.
So I've added 25 ghost shrimp to this tank. And I'm sure you'll be able to see them crawling and swimming around all over. But they're doing really great. I don't think I've lost any. Which, when you buy ghost shrimp, you just never know. But they've done a really good job. I've, they've been in here for about a week. And although I don't see any buried females, um, like I said, I haven't seen any that have died either. But they're all playing in the leaf litter and through the plants, climbing on the wood. It's really been fun to just watch them hang out in here for this week. So I can get this to focus. Doesn't want to that tight. So I apologize for that. But there's a pretty good size one right there. Big ones, some small ones. I was hoping I'd get some uh, buried in that time and start to kind of build a colony out, but nothing yet. That's okay. And I know all, you know, a number of these, if not all of them, will be food in the future to something, but. It's really important to me to get these in here and kind of colonizing a little bit, comfortable, find where the hide, hiding spots are, and just kind of making it their own ecosystem for a while. Other than that, the tanks come along really well. You can see a lot of the leaves have submerged. I have not gone in and moved anything yet. Um, I think once they're fully submerged and waterlogged, I probably will move some of them off of these leaves. We'll just see how that develops. I've got one banana leaf that's kind of hanging up in the frog bit the frog bit's really taken off you can see those roots so they're already you know all the way down to the swords in a lot of cases but if you got amazon frog bed and you get these long roots that's how you know they're doing well they'll start hanging down there sorry for the light i've got this one um indian almond leaf that's still floating there Although, if you can see on the top, see all those little droplets? That's all the tannins being leached out of the leaf. So again, all really good stuff for your tank. You can see the frog bit. Sorry, the lids are a little dirty. See the frog bit really doing well. I got these rimless clips, rimless lid clips that make this lid feel great. The sump's <clears throat> pretty quiet. And the sump's doing really well, so. Next, we're gonna start adding our first fish. I may still add some, some other small live foods, maybe some scuds was suggested by 
one of uh, one of you guys, which I think is a great idea. So I'm trying to grab some scuds from um, one of my local my local aquarium club. Um, but yeah, it's going great. So stay tuned. We'll get some fish in here. What do you think is going to be first? Well, that's it for part three. What do you think? Really excited about these ghost shrimp. Excited to see what they do in the tank. Hopefully we'll get some buried females and have some babies, but the ecosystem is really starting to kick off. I can't wait to share more of this bill with you. So be sure to subscribe, share with your friends, give us a like, and in the comments, tell me about some of the biotopes you've built over time. Thanks for stopping in. Can't wait to see you next time.